and yoga. I'm Heather and welcome. Go ahead and take a seated position, whether it's in a chair or on the floor. You bring your hands to your heart, your thumbs to your chest. Gently look down, possibly close the eyes. Begin breathing in the nose and out the mouth with awareness. Inhalation as long as the exhalation. Grounding down, coming to the body, letting all the mind stuff float away for the next 15 minutes. If you'd like to set an intention, possibly maybe a way you want to feel, whatever it may be, go ahead and set one. Breathe it in. Exhale it out with sound. Again, breathe in. Exhale out with sound. Breathe in. Exhale out with sound. Open up the eyes if you have closed and welcome. Let's begin with some just movements of the arms back and forth. So right arm first, left arm over. Pausing on each side. Really feeling into the movement Seeing if you can get a deeper side body stretch with each repetition. That may require you to hold for a longer period of time to get, get the good stretch. Last one. Come back to center, bring the arms across, exhale, chin towards the chest, hand is like a stop sign, pushing out and away. Just warming up the body. So it can really move in the next 10 minutes, right? Switch sides. All right, interlace the hands behind the back, shine the heart up, opening up the chest. Hands, bring the hands onto the eyes and the knees and round down. Waking up the back body. And inhaling up, cat and cow seated. Round down, hold. Breathe in, look up, hold. Exhale, round down. Think about your favorite flavor or scent. When you're inhaling, you're breathing that in. It's a fabulous thing about virtual yoga. It doesn't matter if you're breathing loud. There's no rules here today. All right, neutral. We're going to bring that chin towards the right shoulder and hold. And release so soft, even though your hands are on the eyes and the knees, I want your hands to be soft. Your arms to just be relaxed there. After those five breaths, come to the center, hold for two. Take a deep breath in, exhale over to the left side, five good breaths.
center. And come to tabletop. We're gonna push down to a child's pose with the knees wide, bringing the hands in front, stretched out. So gecko fingertips. Creating that space all the way from the fingertips to the shoulders. Breathing into the back. Get some full, deep, good breaths in. Come back up. We're going back to neutral tabletop. We're going to thread the needle. So right arm. I like to cross my feet, but you don't have to. Just find what works for you, where you're comfortable. We're going to bring that right arm through. Exhaling it. Right shoulder down, looking into the eye of the left elbow or looking up at the ceiling. Breathing into that back body again, five good deep breaths. Push up slowly, bring the hand back through really, really slow. And back down. Next side, so left arm is going to go through, threading the needle. Inhale and exhale it through, looking up. When you're ready, we're gonna push back up and slowly come back through. We're back at a neutral tabletop. We're gonna push back down. Child's pose, stretch it out again. Just three breaths here. Come back up. And we're going to rotate out here so. Bring the left arm across the body and down here. Let's let's try that again. I don't want to cross the feet. So right arm down, left arm down. We're just rotating out. You need something for your knees. It's okay. You might get a little bit of a blanket, something if it floors too hard on the knees. Back up to neutral tabletop. Drop the belly down. We're just going to relax in here. Head is neutral. Eyes can be gazing down or forward. Your choice. Letting the belly sink just down and relax. No sucking in the belly. And when you're ready, push back into child's pose. Looking all the way up at the navel, pushing the hips back. Roll all the way back to our back. Bring the knees to the chest, hugging the knees to the chest. And if it feels good to you today, rocking side to side, up and down. Just think massaging the back to the floor. And you can also circle, make circles with the knees. So loose hands around the knees, drawing circle. I want you to find what feels good to you. And you're back. And 
right, right leg crosses over left knee. We're gonna exhale over to the left, look to the right, arms are just straight out. Another option here is to take that left hand and hold that right knee, press that right knee down towards the floor for a little bit more of a stretch. See what you like. Back up, uncross the legs. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So left leg goes over right knee. Exhale over to the right. Look to the left, hands out like a T. And if you did, uh, if you held the left knee down or the other knee down, go ahead and do that this time. Back up. Okay, oh goodness. We're getting close. All right, let's go for plow. If this is not for you, it's okay. You can pick either holding the knees up, happy baby for a nice hip opener, or what we just did with the cross and twist. Okay. Otherwise, we'll go to plow. So we'll just go come back here. My hair's in a ponytail, so it's kind of uneven for me. That's okay. And something else, another alternative for this that um, you may like that I really like is to let the feet go flat, the tops of the feet flat, and then bring them up. So just like a little rotation with the feet. When you're ready, roll on down. Hug the knees again. Wow, that's some work. So don't feel like if it's not for you or if you're still learning that or just learning how to, to feel good in it, it's okay. When you're ready, just bring your knees over to your right side. Hang out here for a minute. And then come back up to see it. Let's go. Let's transition on into body canasana for a little hip opener before we end it. Nice, tall, long. Just gonna rotate that a few times. Grab that right elbow with the left. Allow the hand to be flat behind on the back. Let's get a couple more stretches before we get back to, to our day. Switch sides. One side feels totally different, that's a-okay. Nice. Bring your hands to your heart, your thumbs to your chest, and look down into your heart. Think of a few things that you're grateful for today. Thank yourself for coming. And as always, I thank you.
Namaste.